Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add two mixed numbers and a proper fraction. Itong tanong na to is a requested topic na isa sa mga subscribers natin dito sa YouTube. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 3 over 4 plus 5 over 6. Ito ay pasok na pasok sa mismong tanong na ating subscriber. What if daw, meron tayong dalawang mixed number, which is ito, sa ito, at i-add natin siya sa isang proper fraction. So, review muna tayo, ha? When we say mixed number, it is the combination of a whole number and a fraction. And these two mixed numbers are examples of it. Ito yung whole number natin, ito naman yung fraction natin. Ito naman, this is the whole number, which is 2, and this is your fraction. And this one is a proper fraction kapag mas mataas yung value o yung number sa numerator compared to your denominator. So diba? Kahit simple request lang, we can review something about fractions and mixed number. Now, how are we going to add two mixed numbers and a proper fraction? Ako, ang tekniko dito, I will regroup them. Again, I will regroup them. So, paano po? Una, i-group mo muna yung whole numbers. You have 1 and 2. So, ang gabi mo nito ay 1 plus 2. And then, kung mapansin mo, kapag dinanggan natin yung whole numbers, meron naman tayong tatlong fractions or tatlong proper fractions. Okay? We're in Maglagay ko ito ng plus, tapos isulat mo yung 1 half plus 3 over 4 plus 5 over 6. Ito, kaya-kaya na natin to because 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And now, yes sir, how about the 3 proper fractions? Ito na yung medyo may hihirapan kayo. Pero kung kaya na mag-add ng fractions, basic lang sa inyo pag guys. Now, for the fractions, what you will do, since they have different denominators, you have 2, 4, and 6. Ang gagawin mo dito is you need to identify or determine their least common denominators. Or least common denominator. And yung basic na way para makuha yung iyong least common denominator, ay kunin mo na yung LCM, or least common multiple, ng 2, 4, and 6, gamit yung listing method. Ito yung basic na tinutulo ko. Gamit yung listing method. Wherein, let's say for example, you have the number 2. Para mukha mo yung kanyang multiples, lagay mo yung multiples niya. You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Next, for number 4, a multiples ng 4, I 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. And as for number 6, ang kanyang multiples ay 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. And guys, ang pinapanap sa atin yung least common multiple. So pupunta natin, anong number ba? Yung anong multiple ba? yung unang naging pareha sila. And that number is 12. Ibig sabihin niya guys, if your least common multiple is 12, your least common denominator is 12. Yun yung baka siya ginagawa nila, they are multiplying the denominators, which is okay din naman, pero para sa akin mas goods na gamamit kayo ng, ano, ng paghahanap ng LCM to determine your least common denominator. So our least common denominator here is 12. Now, what will happen next? Ito yung process natin na tanda na, divide, multiply. Again, divide, multiply. Sir, para saan po yun? You will divide your LCD, the denominators, and then you will multiply their quotient to the numerators. So, paano na doon siya guys? 12 
divided by 2 is equal to 6 times 1 that is 6 next 12 divided by 4 that is equal to 3 okay times 3 that is 9 again 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 that is 9 next plus the entire rito 12 divided by 6 that is 2 times 5 that will give you 10 and as you can see we can easily um, add the numerators wherein this one will become 3 plus your numerators are 6 9 10 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 10 that will give you 25 over 12. Ngayon, fraction na siya. Actually, kung ito ay isang proper fraction, I will easily attach the whole number with the fraction. Pero, since ito ay isang improper, we need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number wherein you have 25 over 12. Para makuha mo yan, what you will do is to divide 25 by 12. 25 divided by 12 is 2. Okay? Meron tayong dalawang 12, so 25. And then to reverse that, 2 times 12, that is equal to 24. And then subtract it, this, this will give you the answer of 1. Ngayon, sir, paano natin makuha yung mixed number dito? Itong quotient, this will serve as the whole number. So it will become 3 plus 2. Whole number yan. And itong remainder nila, 1, that is your numerator. And for your denominator, it will remain as 12. Ngayon, may gamahabing process natin, pero tsaga-tsaga lang. This is 3 plus 2, that will give you the answer, or the final answer of 5 and 1 over 12. This is the sum when you add 1 and 1 half, 2 and 3 over 4, and 5 over 6. I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin, lalo lalo na sa nag-request itong topic na to. Sana um, may apply mo yung learning mo about this video sa mga future questions na may encounter mo wherein you will be adding two mixed number and a proper fraction. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.